Racer in the uh, Audi Sport uh, TT Cup. All these cars, of course, and unfortunately, race two in the Audi Sport TT Cup was a, was a little bit damaging, to say the least, and spare cars have had to be brought in as Marcel Fassler really under pressure now. So uh, Fassler here will try and make his Audi as uh, wide as possible to prevent Lucas Lua from going to the inside, but can Lucas Lua uh, cover it off by uh, scrubbing the speed off as uh, Fassler gets to the inside now. They're side by side as they make their way onto the Parabolica, onto the push to pass. The button has almost been pushed through the bottom of the steering wheel as they push that button so hard to give them an additional 30 horsepower running up towards the hairpin. Yeah, when we see it's uh, the grass is now lapping uh, first sector two times faster than uh, Frank Stipler. It would be great to see if uh, the Brazilian driver can uh, close the gap into Frank Stipler and have a battle for first position on the race. The gap will be now around 1.5 seconds. Uh, Frank Stipler ahead of uh, Lucas Degrassi. We can see now in the picture while yep. we see uh, Lucas Luer is still. Uh, pushing into Marcel Fallet, we see a car there. I don't know where that was going. Stop, getting retired. Stop for an ice cream. Um, <laughs> Frank Stippler then, and uh, Lucas Degrassi, P1 and uh, P2. And uh, here once again comes Lua then, and uh, Fassler side by side. Well, track limits being explored to the uh, very limit. Marco Werner flashing his lights in the uh, number oh. 31 car. We have a replay of Ortelli crash. Yeah. No, he has to leave the gap. To look at all, all the way to the grass, fast there. This can run in the advantage of uh, <coughs> Berna, which is just driving behind uh, both drivers. So, oh, gap between Frank Stippler and Lucas Di Grassi, not 0.7. So Lucas de Grassi got a second bag in the last lap. Rahul Frey has been given a, uh, a black and white flag, flag for pushing another car. So too has to, uh, uh, Lucas. Uh, they, they ought to just hold the black and white flag black. out for the whole time, Thank don't they? You. For the whole grid. And it's Gunon. Uh, it's done. It's, no, Gunon hasn't done the drive-through penalty. <laughs> the only one who hasn't hit anything is Frank Stippler, and he's in the lead. <laughs> yeah, but not for long, I think. Uh, Look, whoa. Fastest uh, sector one, four times faster for uh, look, oh, look how close they are. And in the back, the same. Lucas Luer on the on the in, uh, inside. Fastler defending. He will uh, try not to do the switch back. Six uh, push to pass uh, alert for Marcel Fastler. Let's see how many for Lucas Luer. Is uh, one. 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 All been used. All been used. Oh. Oh, we see now diving to the inside. Oh. Yes, he does. Really good move. Squeezing out to yeah. the outside. Oh, he's going to oh, yes. lose out in another position as well because uh, Werner uh, comes through. Werner with four pushes to pass left. And we see uh, Di Grassi chasing down uh, Frank Stippler. So we see them driving back to back. So uh, here is Marcel Fassner, uh, Marco Werner, and of course the number 43 car of Lure who's on the back of that uh, trio now. So uh, Stippler leading then, but we're focusing on this battle on screen. And there you can see uh, Marco Werner, who's right in the middle of that uh, sandwich now. I think the car we saw was uh, for going for an asking was Ryle Frey. He's not anymore in the pack. Uh, fair enough. Retired. So we see now uh, Lucas Luer and Marco Werner fighting. Oh, oh, another this time between the Stippler and the Grassis is uh, not point four tens. Oh, we see now. No, oh, there's going to be contact oh. there. I tell you what, that uh, that could be damage to the Verna car because that was quite an impact. Verna brings it back out on track again, though, and here comes Emmanuele Piro. Told you there would be damage to the Verna car, mate. This is going to be last car no, running. running. It's going to be end up P one, P two. No other podium. Like, uh, nothing else running. This uh, wrestling, last man standing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a replay of that incident then. Lucas Lua on the inside. Uh, Marco Werner went to turn in and found the gap he wanted to turn into was full of Audi Sport TT Cup car. Um, 
And uh, there, regrettably, is going to be a retirement for the uh, number 31 car with uh, three pushes to pass left for the remainder of the race. But sadly, not enough of the car left. And Rahal Frey, uh, you were right, walks away from the uh, car um, with her race uh, done and dusted <laughs> as So I think there is also no track limits uh, no. here. No. Um, there's been plenty of black and white flags uh, shown um, but not too much notice taken. Uh, Frank Stippler and Lucas de Grassi. I have to say, Lucas de Grassi has, has reeled Stippler in, but Stippler has upped his game a little bit now, although after saying that, de Grassi was three tenths quicker last lap. Yeah, but uh, de Grassi has only two push to pass left, uh, while Stippler has 11, so... <laughs> yes, he's just going to put some masking tape over the button and keep it depressed over the last laps. <sighs> So uh, Frank Stippler then leading the race, while second everything else has broken out behind him. And really, rather sadly, there are not too many close battles now. But we have seen our fair share of uh, they've, they've close been, battles. They've been taking each other away. <laughs> our lure is also coming into the box. <laughs> Quel surprise! Um, you're absolutely right. The uh, uh, the similarity between a, a mates together at the kart track is uh, very close, isn't it? <laughs> it's just out there having fun and entertaining as we see the uh, abd car, or what's left of the abd car, <laughs> wheeled back into the garage. Um, absolutely extraordinary. Right. Oh, Stipler really deep on the brakes. The back of the car moving all the way around. Emanuele Piro also coming, recovering really well on P4. Now. And <laughs> the, no, four laps ago, Dino Capello was P10, and now he's P5. <laughs> Not making a single move, so... <laughs> yes, just wait for everyone else to fall off so the track. So you are completely right. This will be last man standing, huh? <laughs> right. Uh, Ten more laps and no one will be on the race. <laughs> and you know, Jim Stuck then, ahead of the uh, Vanina X car there. As you can see, um, we have uh, two laps left to run. Um, Stippler then a second ahead of Degrassi, but... Uh, there's uh, the X car with no pushes to pass left. Uh, and those two actually are probably the closest on track at the moment. And here, in replay, Alex. Oh, it's the overtake maneuver. Oh, no, try it. It's the, just a, almost a glancing blow. I'll tell you what, that was, uh, that was close. That was really close. Uh, there is the uh, number eight car of Gunon, who I, I'm not sure whether the drive through penalty has happened no, or I not. No, I think uh, he will get it after the race, yeah. probably. Uh, Stippler then six tenths over Degrassi and then uh, Fassler. And uh, well, the uh, battle between these two has continued uh, with some gusto, it has to be said. As uh, Hans Joachim Stuck then, uh, actually, that was a remarkably clean overtake, one of the cleanest we've seen. There we see the fight for the lead of the race. Frank Stippler leading ahead of uh, Lucas Degrassi. So Stippler using his push to pass, five left oh. now. Degrassi doing the same, where we are in the final lap. So last chance for uh, Degrassi to get past uh, Stippler into the brakes. They dive together, Stippler losing the car. Let's see if he does the switchback. No, Degrassi's run is really long, let's say, on the acceleration. Oh, the last few corners could be very exciting now as Stippler and Degrassi look on the push to pass. It was 11 a few moments ago. He's used three pretty quickly, hasn't he? As uh, Stippler, as he tries to defend against the hard charging Lucas Degrassi and uh, Marcel Fassler, you could just see very, very sideways uh, trying to buy into this battle, which has but got the uh, remainder of this lap to go. Lucas Degrassi, of course, no pushes to pass left. So he's, he's got uh, nothing extra to offer. Nothing, and uh, Stippler using all them all. <laughs> All of them just to defend as much as he can. He's blue all the time, so yeah, he's uh, just on it. He's on it. He's on the button. So Degrassi then has got nothing extra to throw. Stippler has just got two turns to do. The race of legends is about to come to a close. The checkered flag awaits, as does the recovery truck for the bits of Audi that are left all around the track. But Frank Stippler takes the win from Lucas Degrassi, P2. It'll be uh, Fassler that will take uh, P3. And then... Uh, it's going to be a P4 for Emanuele Piro, look. P5 for uh, Dindo Capello. Will be uh, Gunon uh, getting P6, but he will get a penalty, uh, drive-through penalty. So it's Vanina XP7 and uh, 
Johan Joachim took P8, and that's it. <laughs> that's it, that's all the P9, and P10, P11, P12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all, all they're gone, all gone. gone out of the race. We see now they're <laughs> I'm bloody, sorry. bloody. Uh, but there, uh, it's, every, it's been every bit as entertaining as we expected it to be. Uh, last day of school uh, type race. Yeah, I think. The podium is being readied, and in the paddock, the skip is ready for bent pieces of panel work and uh, various other. As uh, so Frank Stippler then, uh, pretty happy with that uh, victory.